What little things keep you happy? I'm happy when I'm grateful for something. When I wake up and it's sunny. When something goes my way for once. When I make a green light. When I don't get into any accidents. When I look down and see that I still have two legs and two arms. When I look in the mirror and two eyes look back at me. When I ask myself my name and I know it. When I hit save on my latest project. When I finish a piece of art. When I have finished writing. When someone tells me they love me. When I eat something that tastes good. When I use honey or milk or anything. And when I eat meat I'm always grateful and thankful to the animals from which that meat came. I always say thank you cows. Or thank you bees. I'm grateful and happy that I have a place to live. That I do not have to sleep in the rain. I'm happy when I smile, and I can always choose to smile, even when I feel sad, therefore I can always be happy. Today I was asked, this is the honest truth, why are you so happy? I said I don't know, I just am. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for my amazing wonderful girlfriend and the life we have together. I'm grateful for the computer I'm typing this on and the internet connection I'm using. I'm grateful for all the people who have helped me, there have been so many. I'm grateful for my soul for the fact that I desire to be better and am not content with mediocrity. I'm happy that I have a clean environment where I can do whatever I wish and that I'm safe because there are police officers willing to defend my life with this. I'm happy because I live in a country where there is no war and so when I walk outside I do not have to fear for my life. I'm happy because I have a car, and because I have that car I'm able to go places I would not be able to reach with my feet alone. I try not to let anything escape my gratitude, therefore when I'm doing anything, be it washing the dishes, doing laundry, forcing myself to stay away despite being very tired, I still find things to be grateful for. I'm grateful for the dishes, to clean them is to make them new again, and I bought them. So I'm happy that I don't have to pay for them again, that I can use them again. When I can find my gratitude, I know that is a positive feeling that I can really attach to, and it grounds me and gives me strength. When I come through the door at the end of the day, the cats always scream in delight. They never do it for my boyfriend or anyone else. I'm positive that it's because they've learned that when I'm gone for a few hours then come back, they means they are about to be fed. But I'd rather pretend it's because they love me. I work in the film business, constantly changing crews. You definitely make friends, but you might connect with someone and not see them for years. I had an assistant, Tara. She never forgot anybody's name, ever. She could meet someone four years later throw open her arms, and gust, for example, Evan, how is your wife, did her catering business work, and your daughter was graduating last time we saw each other, has she graduated yet? She never forgot a name, a face or a detail. I have never seen a person more loved and more loving. I'm the opposite, I was her boss, and I guess I flatter myself that I have always had to ponder the more difficult things that we were dealing with. Terror was an inspiration. Years later, we both have kids, and things have changed, she has become a psychologist, man, the people that will walk into her office have no idea how fortunate they are. This is gonna sound dumb, but, a nice glass of clean water, slightly chilled, no ice, in a proper clean glass, not in plastic, styrofoam, aluminum, or what have you. First I just enjoy the taste and the texture, I guess you could call it. This is where the glass helps a lot. Not while I'm watching TV, not while eating food, and not because I'm particularly parched, although quenching that is awesome, too. It's just a moment. Me and the water. And the glass. Not really thinking about anything, not distracted or stressed. It's clean. Pure. Yes of course, it's been treated, so maybe I'm enjoying that. Not sure what to say here. Sometimes I'll reflect how casually I can do this when other parts of the world cannot, or other times in the world, for that matter. I might linger a moment on how fundamentally necessary water is to life, but usually I'll just sip and enjoy the moment, not thinking about anything. Just the water. Similar experience with good beer. A local upscale grocery store has a small area dedicated to wine and beer. I can't comment in the wine, but they have 15 beer taps, some on relatively quick rotation. When I get there, I'll mull over the selection, 
And if something seems interesting, I'll get a sample. They serve that in a tiny plastic cup, good enough to get a good swish, or three of the beer. If it seems decent, I'll order a glass of it. No matter what I choose, it's always better in the glass. It's gotten to the point that I'll take my future expectation into account when I sip from the plastic cup. This, I have one best friend from when I was 5 and he was 4. We went to the same kindergarten, high school, then our ways parted, but still we would always keep in contact and visit each other. At first he was the one who left the country for a better life, and he struggled at first but now he's got a really good job, and I'm just so happy for how things turned out for him. Especially knowing that he comes from a single mother, multiple kids household, and knowing how shitty they used to live, and for me now in also doing better than ever, although just a year ago I wasn't really sure what and how things will happen after graduating university but everything is just falling into place sort of now. My group of friends, about 6 of us, have grown up together since we were 7 to 11 years old and were 20 now. Half of us are in school and doing well so far, but the other half just sit around all day playing video games and doing nothing. We try to push them to do something productive, but they just have no motivation. It's sad to see, because I know they have a lot of potential, but we just don't know what to do for them anymore. I tell my one year old daughter crazy shit all the time like look for happiness in the trees. I don't think she fully comprehends it, but it's still super cute when we go outside and I say look at all the trees, cause she immediately lights up, no matter what mood she may have been in before. I hope these are the things that stick with her for when she's feeling sad later in life. I'm trying to instill the idea that you can find happiness out of most situations depending on your own attitude and where you're looking. Having a honeybee fly past me all lazy. Flowers on the side of a road. Shoes that fit right, even after a long walk. Having a great conversation with a stranger. The wind in the car, when the windows are down. The first sip of sea idea in fall. Petting dogs. Petting cats. A great pen, especially if someone wrote you something with good penmanship. The foam on top of a lat. The first bite in an apple. Walking past dads making bad jokes. Unexpected snacks. Hearing a new song and listening to it for a week. Paintings you can touch. The way water looks. Opening up a bag of chips and that smell pops out. The look on someone's face right before they get your joke. Have a great day everyone. First sip of coffee in the morning. Little human taking that really big drink and does that cute lip smack. Catching a stranger in public acting goofy. Fuzzy socks. Pets. Your song playing randomly at just the crappiest part of your day. Finding a moment of reflection that makes you aware of the awesome mess that is living. I just quit a shitty job and everything makes me happy. Everything is bliss. I contact with cute girl boom happy. Neat guitar if boom happiness again. Didn't even come close to bring and almost died from a poorly executed squat I am here and alive with emotion. Walking around outside in my weird shitty crazy neighborhood trying to feel the pulse of the city I am alive bitches. Yay. F you asterisk asterisk shi asterisk asterisk t jobs they make everything terrible. So many. Four things that happen on a weekly basis. I get a sense of accomplishment finishing even just one assignment for a class. I like feeling productive. At work, I'm a restaurant host, I actually enjoy creating the rotation and following through with it. Sometimes it gets really hectic, but it feels great when you have everybody on the waitlist pre-signed to a table, and I'm glad my managers are aware of that, since they typically leave me in the host desk and don't check up on me as often, because they know I have it under control. And when I don't, I'm lucky to have coworkers or the managers themselves willing to help me when I ask. I'm actually really shy so, when I talk to a person at work, I really appreciate it when they seem to be aware of how difficult it is for me to converse, but they still make the effort to keep the conversation going. During work, after getting everybody seated, I like to go up to the servers and ask what can I do to help them, because having so many things to do and getting overwhelmed sucks, and even though they're in a rush, they usually never forget to thank me later or before I leave. It makes me happy knowing that I helped somebody. I like the feeling of wearing a thick jacket, pajama pants, 
and socks underneath to layers of blankets, and just started doing this, eating Ritz crackers with Nutella, and eating something sweet after class in some days when it's warm. I'll open the window in my room and the wind would occasionally jiggle the blinds and I'd feel a soft gust of wind and the sky would be such a vibrant shade of pink and orange and the only thing I'd hear is the occasional wind whistling and the rumbling of cars. What makes me happy every day, even though I'm 19, is when I hear my dad's key jingle, when he unlocks the door and his metal water bottle hitting everything. I still stop what I'm doing and go downstairs to welcome him home and tell him about my day. Even having a boring day is not too bad. Nothing exciting happened, but nothing bad happened either, which I think is pretty great. That means everything happened as it was supposed to and everybody I know is alright. Of course, I don't feel like this every day, but when I do, the typical is great and the amazing is absolutely wonderful, so I try to notice everything that goes around me, because I know that one day I'll miss just sitting around in my room playing video games and eating dried bran flakes cereal, which I find oddly appetizing, waiting for my dad to come home. When my wife gets hyper and acts all goofy and affectionate. She's such a weirdo and it charms the hell out of me. Example, she loves the song Beautiful Crazy by Luke Combs. And when it comes on in the car she gets so excited and belts it out without a care. Now whenever I hear that song and I'm not with her, I think of how much I love her and all her antics and I get a lump in my throat. Edit, this is my first medal of any kind. Whoever the kind person was, I'm so glad you felt compelled by the deep love I have for my wife. Edit hash 2, holy shit a gold 2. I'm overwhelmed lol. Edit hash 3, a platinum. Are you fucking kidding? I haven't been a part of this community long enough to understand the magnitude of that, but thank you all for the responses and kind words and support.